Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and today I'm up for UK Scrap Addicts and this month's theme we are concentrating on um, making our own embellishments. So um, I've made some of these recently and I thought I would make them on a larger scale and they are um, paperclip banners. Um, so I'm working here with the Bloom Street collection from uh, Paige Evans. And first of all, I want a bit of a messy background, so I'm just adding some white paint, um, acrylic uh, acrylic paint splatters across my background. I've just put that to one side to dry. So I'm just going through and just using scraps um, of my paper rather than cutting into fresh sheets. And I'm going to make use of the cut apart sheet um, as, my, um, as my layers on... Um, on my banners so all I've done is I've just cut down a big banner now it doesn't matter on the size of the paper clip um, because um, I'm going to create um, I'm going to create a couple of hinges loops um, to actually attach the banner to the uh, paper clip so I'm not going to show you the process here because I'm pretty sure you can cope with making um, a banner shape um and you don't need to see that process necessarily so just a little tip here i measure the width um of my banner and then i just um use my trimmer to mark halfway so i know where the center is um and then i just cut in from both sides so my banner um my fishtail banner is um even so I've got these three going on here. So two with the um, cut apart cards and then one with my photo on. And I decide just to trim down my photo a little bit to be able to um, mount it onto a, um, a, a small white border and then onto um, that other piece of pattern paper which is again a cut apart but it's the, just the reverse it's the b side of the paper and that's going to help my photo pop a lot more what I've done as well as I've gone around um, each of the layers with my distressing tool just to ruffle up the edges um, sometimes I like it um, flat clean edges um, and other times I um, I like to give it a little bit of interest um, by using my distressing tool. So these are the paper clips. Now these are the larger ones, um, not the huge ones, but the, the larger paper clips. And um, I'm just going to cut half inch strips of pattern paper to help me attach my banners onto the paper clips and I think this is a really nice design um, to be able to um, to do this so if you had a, a thinner um, strip of paper so I've made the um, these banners before where the width of the paper is just wide enough to go through the paper clip um, but I wanted to be able to use um, I wanted to be able to make bigger banners um, but still using these same paper clips so I um, just made these little one inch uh, sorry half inch strips and um, I'm going to staple the top um, to keep them secure on that paper clip, but also um, using the staples as a design element and um, just peeling off some double sided tape on the back of the banner and then lying or laying that back down flat. And then, oh, and then I've got the staples around the wrong way, so I'm just flipping that around. So, um, yeah, rather than just the paper clip holding that banner, um, I've got these two little um, strips, which, which I love. I love the result of these. Um, so, yeah, this is my um, DIY embellishments, as it were. And I love the fact that you can make these in advance. So if you are 
Um, if you were not crafting specifically, but you're sat in front of the TV, um, you could um, sit in front of Netflix and um, make these little banners ready to pop on a layout uh, whenever you're ready. And these are great for um, just having on hand um, whatever you want, an embellishment. And you can make them as big or as small as you want. I really wanted to make statement pieces with these ones. So I did make them, um, I did make them rather large. And that's because I wanted to use the, uh, the cut apart cards on this. So I decided to bring in some others as well. Um, not just those three. So I'm going to bring in an extra two, um, with those sentiments on. And then, I'm just going to cut two slits. Okay, so this is where I messed up a little bit. So I've cut two slits because I want the paper clip to come in, go in the paper and out the other side. But what I did here is, and I've left this in to show you, I actually made the slit too wide apart. Um, so I think I made it about an inch apart, which is you can't get it through because the um, the little half inch strip is um, is on there. So I had to um, I had to go back in and cut another slit um, about half an inch um, in order for the paper clip to um, to go in and then come out the other side. And I had actually marked up my paper um, roughly where the slits were to go, but <laughs> it was. It was pointless in the end because um, those slits were far too far apart. So um, if you just want to, I mean, you could do it where you don't have the paper clip going through the paper. You don't have to do that. But I just thought it was a nice, um, a nice, again, a nice little design element of um, the paper clips interacting with, um, with the paper. Um, so yeah, you could just stick your banners on and just leave the paper clips um, unattached to the paper. You could have it where it goes just all the way through the paper. So you just have one slit and you just slot it in. Um, you don't need to have it coming out the other side if you don't want to. So I'm just then bringing in a couple more of these um, cutter parts to fill in those blank spaces. And again, just uh, matching the... Um, distressed edge on these cards as well and um, because um, because I've got the metal of the um, the paper clips I thought I would then um, add on some staples to the other ones as a design element as well so next up, I'm going to um, add a few embellishments. So here I have the cut apart sheet. Um, it was the one, the one with all the words on, um, all the word strips. So I'm just going through that and um, pulling out, pulling out a few of these um, word strips that I think I might want to use. Um, now the color the 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 block is just too big so i'm just trimming around um and removing some of that excess um paper and then again just distressing the edges and then what i do here is um i do a mixture of um putting some up on foam and others i just tape straight down onto um, onto the um, the banners it just depends on whether I've put um, so those first two banner pieces they're already up on foam um, so those ones just got stuck flat um, and then the rest of them to give it some dimension were popped up onto some foam so next up I'm then adding in um, some little flower clusters. I love these florals um, that are from the die cut, the floral die cut pack. And um, so I'm just going to add three areas of um, floral clusters. And that helps with the floral element from that card in the middle um, as well. So I'm happy with my... Um, 
floral clusters and I don't add many I just add I add one of the bigger pieces um, and then a little sprig um, a couple of little flowers down here um, and wet glue is my um, go-to glue um, when it comes to adding these in because it does give you that wiggle room to be able to get them um, moved around and stuck in um, and we're coming to the end of the video so if you have enjoyed today's um DIY embellishment video then please give the video a thumbs up um, subscribe if you're new um, if you're watching on my channel uh, Scrappy Nerd UK then head on over to UK Scrap Addicts and we do have a Facebook group as well um, and I'll leave the links in the um, description box below and if you're watching on UK Scrap Addicts head on over to my channel which is Scrappy Nerd UK um, thank you all very much for joining me today stay tuned for some more inspiration from the rest of the team and I'll see you all next time bye